the next door neighbors just started playing piano. And I'm really trying to film a YouTube video. Ugh, and consider it. Hi, I'm Joe Ra. I was at the gym today, and something a little annoying happened. And I thought, when I'm at the gym, a lot of annoying things happen. There are some people who really annoy me at the gym. I'm not talking about annoying couples, or people who show up in jeans and can't seem to operate a treadmill. No, no, no. I mean like actual people who are bad people when they're at the gym. So, in order from most bearable to least bearable, here are the five types of people who grind my gears when I'm at the gym. Number five, the chatty Kathy. This kind of person finds it necessary to come and talk to me while I'm working out. I mean, if I know you, it's one thing. Like, I don't want to talk to you, I'm working out. If I haven't seen you in two years, tell me and I'll text you later. It's not a big deal. But if I don't know them, it's way worse. Like, it's kind of creepy. I don't know whether you're trying to sell me something or ask me on a date or ask me if I have a minute to talk about Jesus. It's just, I don't want to talk to you. I would really like to just get this workout on. I usually have free workout in my system and I just want to be done. Leave me alone. Number four, the wet mop. Now, I've only mopped once or twice in my life, but when I mop, it leaves a bunch of nasty residue around. These are the kinds of people I don't like at the gym. People who sweat profusely and don't find it necessary to have a hand towel. Like, if I sit on a machine, I do not want to suck up someone's moisture into my shorts. And if I lay down, I especially do not want to suck up that moisture into my hair. It's disgusting. These people should have to carry caution signs with them, like when you mop a floor. Except it should say, caution, this machine is currently wet with someone's bodily fluids. And there's no excuse. Half the gyms nowadays offer towels for you to use. And if they don't offer a towel, use your shirt. Please do not get your sweat all over me. This is making me a little frustrated, so I'm gonna have some wine. Number three, the absentee. This is the kind of person who leaves all their shit, towels, water bottles, keys, I don't know, at their machine, and the second you try to walk up to it because they haven't been there in four minutes, they're like, oh, no, 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 bro, I'm on there, I'm on there, I'm on there. You're not on there, you haven't been here in four minutes, I need to do a set real quick, back off. Number three prime. Here's a bonus. It's a cousin of the absentee, the Hillary Clinton. Someone who is on the phone, clearly on a matter of international importance. Because what is so important that you can't wait till you're not on the fucking machine until you call that person back? And the worst part about the Hillary Clinton is you can't interrupt them because to interrupt them, you interrupt their phone call, you're rude. But they're being rude by being on the phone at the machine in the first place. It's a lose-lose situation, people. My only respite is to just like go to the drinking fountain and stare at them disapprovingly, which in my experience doesn't work all that well. Number two, the discount shopper. You ever notice when you go to a store that sells things for really cheap, people tend to never put things back where they belong? Why is this can of Pringles in the middle of the movie's aisle? Why is this feminine douche in the middle of the food aisle? It's like that at the gym, but so much worse. People love to leave dumbbells in places where they don't belong. I don't understand. The thing says 45 pounds. Why do you put a 15 pound weight there? Can you not read numbers? Because numbers are in every language. Or if you're especially lucky, they leave it in the middle of the floor and you bang your foot into it. Awesome. Like every once in a while, I will leave a 45 pound plate on a barbell, but that's totally not the same as leaving a dumbbell in the middle of the floor because for one, those belong on a barbell. Dumbbells do not belong in the middle of the floor. And two, if you can't take that off by yourself, you probably shouldn't be lifting alone. Ugh. There's no more wine. Number one, and this is by far the worst kind of person at the gym. I call him the Earth Shaker. Bonus points if you know what Greek god I'm referring to. The Earth Shaker is the guy who, when he finishes his set, drops his weight from five feet up, let it slam onto the ground, and just disrupt the entire flow of the gym. Seriously, half of these gyms we're on are on the second floor of something. You're gonna punch a fucking hole in the ground, or at least, at the very least, maybe cause a tsunami in Japan. It's loud, it's disruptive, it's obnoxious, and usually people are grunting really loudly when they let shit drop to the floor. Like, you're finishing your set. You're letting it down. Why are you grunting? You should be grunting when you push it up, not when you drop it from five feet in the air. Now, I'm not saying grunting at the gym is wrong. I mean, if you're pushing yourself, ideally, you're probably gonna have a little of stress and want to grunt as you push something away from you or, you know, pull something towards you, whatever. But you should not be, like, shouting at the gym. This is not your shouting place. Well, there you have it. These kinds of people suck. Please don't be one of them. If you have to be one of them, 
Don't do it at my gym. Go to a different gym, because I don't want to deal with that. I want to be really super passive aggressive and give you hateful side eye. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to put up very fundamental life lessons like the ones I taught you today. But I do tend to get kind of lazy sometimes, so if I don't, you'll see me in all of Levi's videos anyway. Cheers, bitches.